It appears I may never cease to talk about BC Rich on this channel, but I kinda had to cover this little nugget of news while it's still fresh and before we find out anything else. BC Rich is back. Now, I have talked about BC Rich a lot on this channel, and most of what I've said has been negative, but I don't like it that way. I, at my core, love BC Rich for their guitar shapes and, you know, the sound of their guitars, the playability of their higher-end guitars. I'm not a BC Rich hater by any means. I mean, look at the first video I ever made on this channel, which was also coincidentally my first BC Rich video. I had one of their modern extreme exotic guitars right here in my lap and played it and said it was one of the best guitars I've ever played. They also use a lot of Fishman pickups in their guitars, and that is a bonus for me because I really like Fishman pickups, as you may be able to tell. But they've just kind of been slacking for the past, I don't know, 15, 20 years or something, possibly longer than I've been alive. Now, I've had a lot of conversations with a lot of people at BC Rich, some more civil than others, but one thing that I have not heard anywhere, not even from Bill Xavier, the CEO of BC Rich, when I talked to him, was that BC Rich is kind of planning to make a comeback. Now, comeback might not exactly be the best word to use because they never left, they were around the entire time, but the last couple of guitar launches that they attempted, besides the shitty Stranger Things guitars that they released, they haven't gone so well. Now, in my head, most recently, I'm thinking of the black harpoon headstock Kayla equipped Ironbirds that they teased for the first quarter of 2022, and then at some point after the first quarter of 2022, they were like, oh, they're ready now, and then people audited them, and then they got refunds instead of the guitars because, whoops, they didn't actually exist. <laughs> My point being, they have teased new guitars on Instagram for next week. Now, given that they have blocked my ass on Instagram and also every other conceivable ass that I could ever create in the future on a phone that has my account on it, I have to use an old backup phone with my girlfriend's uh, Instagram account on it, but I have managed to sneak back onto their, um, their account. Would you look at that? Landing next week, Iron Bird Extreme Series. Sign up to the mailing list on bcrich.com to get notifications about new arrivals. Now these specs are incredible. Korean made, ebony fretboard, Fishman Fluence modern pickups, Floyd Rose. These guitars are just beautiful. I'm a massive Iron Bird fan. That doesn't mean I'm gonna buy one of these because after everything I've been through with this company, I'm kind of too burnt out on them to actually give them my money. But that does not mean that I'm not somehow rooting for them to make this comeback and, you know, be successful again. I hate to see what the people who are in charge of the company now have done with it, and this is good if these guitars actually ever end up being available. And that, my friends, is the crucial point of this video, is why I'm making this video right now and not next week when the supposed launch is, because I would love to be the first person to talk about these and pat BC Rich on the back once they release them, but I'd also like to be the first person to have had a foot in the door if this just kind of goes belly up again and, uh, you know, I'll be able to say, whoops, I told you so. So I do look forward to seeing how the situation unfolds. Thank you for watching. Here are all of my Patreon members. Thank you so much to them. If you want to become a patron, $1.90 a month, link in the description, much link in the description, social media in the description. By the way, here are all of the, is the benefits of the Patreon. I didn't, I forgot to mention those. Last video, subscribe. Goodbye.